There's something unique and special about Brazilian music that has a degree of sophistication in its harmonic and rhythmic, melodic elements. So I think that it really speaks to people of all cultures. with Lorindo Almeida for many years and we had a trio called Guitar Jam with Larry Coriel and we toured everywhere and I really learned a lot about playing this kind of music. It's, it's got intricacies of style that are hard to capture just by the page. You really need to be immersed in that language. Well I've had a love affair with Brazil and Brazilian music for over 30 years since I first went there in the 60s and lived there for almost a year and uh, have known a number of wonderful Brazilian musicians and in the forefront of them is Tiago de Mello, whom I met about 10 years ago. And uh, Tiago and I went to Manaus in the Amazon in 1992 to do a concert during the Earth Summit in the Opera House there. My first 20 years I live in the Amazon in the city of Manaus and the vicinities in the small towns, spend vacations and we mean the jungle. And uh, our, the means of transportation were boats or canoes. So that's why I have a, a song called My Canoe. And I have a chant called There is a Hole in My Canoe, which reflects this daily movement among the Amazonian people. It's the only means of transportation, and at the same time, the means of communication. After my first 20 years, I came to study in Rio, did physical education and professional soccer, which in Brazil is a big thing. And uh, I always wanted to be a musician. And only when I left, I came here to New York when I was 33 years old, that I started studying music and eventually abandoned everything. And up to this day, that's what I'm doing. Paul Winter is someone who is new to my life right now, but the remarkable thing about that is that the connection was instantaneous, and through the language of music, we were able to communicate a similar spirit and approach to creativity, and for me, that was just tremendously inspiring. I think one of the best things about collaboration is that it enriches you as a person and as an artist and a musician. And Tiago, this is now a story of over 11 years that I've known him, and it has changed my playing dramatically. It has made me much more aware of the counterpoint of rhythm that you can find in a single measure, in a single phrase. He has an enormous ability to bring out things you didn't even know were possible. And as that is happening, it adds a completely new dimension to how I would play a piece.
New York was the birthplace of my musical career as a composer, as a performer, because I didn't know anything about the music in the Amazon besides listening to the sound of the winds and the trees, the singing of the birds, the roar of the rivers, and the missionaries from Mississippi going to the Amazon, converting my grandparents, my parents, and singing those spirituals. And the spirituals had a great deal to do with the African elements that came from Bahia through the north of Brazil, the Amazonian region, during the rubber plantations. And that the mix of this culture was the influence that I used later on when I came to New York and started music. Over the years, I've had the opportunity to play also with uh, a number of members of the larger Symphony of the Earth, different uh, birds and, and mammals, uh, whose voices for me are very similar to those of uh, jazz musicians or earth musicians from many parts of the world. And it's really no different playing with them than playing here with uh, Sharon and Tiago. Uh, it's simply a matter of listening and interacting in a certain way and um, you know, being part of the, of, of the same community of life, the, 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 the symphony of life. The way Paul Winter plays the saxophone, I've never heard anyone play it like that. It has the human cry, the human voice of lyricism and improvisatory creativity. It's a voice unto itself. For this CD, I prepare special songs. They are catchy, melodic sounds, but they reflect also a sense of where I come from musically and how this environment in the United States, mostly New York City, which is a different jungle with different animals, have created, helped me to create this music. What I hear in this album that, that's really unique is that you have uh, one of the great classical guitarists of the world playing uh, wonderful literature, but that has uh, more of an earth feeling to it than a lot of classical guitar might. And so uh, it's sort of crossing that bridge, uh, which is close to my heart, because all my life I've looked for music that did cross that bridge, that had the, the depth and the power and the interest and the imagination and the, the skill of uh, wonderful classical music, but the soul and the rhythm of, of uh, musics of the earth. This CD, I, I would say, is the most fun CD I've ever created. I've done everything from all the Bach lute suites to contemporary American concerti to Latin music to contemporary music. So here I am with an element that is just plain fun. It also is, has a degree of sophistication that makes it of great value. But you can turn it on while you're waking up in the morning and it'll give you a good feeling about looking forward to the day ahead. 
It's something that allows me to enjoy the elements of Latin music that I've always been drawn to. And now I'm not just an observer, I can be a participant in that too.